This is John from John Just Beat. I'm here with Coach Mike Stewart. I should say manager Mike Stewart, but everyone calls him Coach Stu. Yeah. How are you, sir? Real good. Real good. I got to start off. Championship season last year. Phenomenal run by Mark Abbott. How did it feel at the end of that when, when everything was done and you guys won it all? Um, obviously, it's awesome. You know, that's what you're trying to accomplish all season, and you're going through each day, each practice, you know, working to get better every day. And, hoping that what you do pays off in the end with the championship and the girls just really we had a, a great four day stretch there in Alabama where we played well um, the offense you know scratched enough across and Monica pitched unbelievably well. Obviously you're always positive but was there a certain point in the season where you thought oh, yeah, we really got something going here? Um, I knew coming in that I thought we could compete you know and it takes a lot though, you never know how team chemistry is going to click and um, I, I kind of started to get that feeling the first couple of weeks of practice that our chemistry was going to be good and so when you have that as a team, it really helps. Um, it makes it, you know, win or lose if you have good team chemistry, it makes it a lot more enjoyable from a manager standpoint and you know, the girls really clicked even off the field, they really clicked which was a huge thing. Well speaking of team chemistry, you lost three of your veterans, three of the, the really class athletes with, you know, Monica and Amber and, and Tammy. What kind of challenges does that bring to you now to, to fill their spot on and off the field? It's huge. Um, you know, we talked to a few of our returning vets and said, you know, you're not Monica or Amber or Tammy. You can't be those people. You have to be yourself and lead in your own way. And so for us, I think it's really... Um, it's been a, a almost building season again, you know, from day one is, you know, trying to get everyone in and understand what our culture is, what we want to try and create, how we want to try and work and go about our business on and off the field. So that's really been um, something we've been trying to um, preach and instill every day in practice, um, in team meetings and, and as we go about our business is just trying to create that culture that we want to play with here in Chicago. Well, with all the new, the new talent on the team, like how long do you think it takes to, to really start gelling? Like when will you have a really good idea of how this team looks? You know, um, in past seasons I've gone in uh, with veterans like Tammy at shortstop where I could kind of, you know, know that they were going to be able to handle the situation. And now I, I, I look at it more from my eyes as I've got to make sure they know what's going on all the time. And so... Um, the, you can't really pinpoint a date, you know, sometimes you get that one game or that one um, practice where things just seem to start clicking a little bit better for people and it, the game starts to slow down a little bit and I think that we're still um, working towards that date right now with this group just being so young. Before, well, congratulations on one last night, by the way. Thank you. Before we end this, uh, I have to ask you about uh, Coach's Corner. It's something, uh, it's a great project, and we'd uh, like to hear more about it. Yeah, um, you know, I'm really big on being involved in the community, and I think a lot of that stems back to um, my dad passing away from cancer actually five years ago on Sunday. Um, so, you know, for me, it's always something that's been important. So last year, I launched a program called the Coach's Corner. And what we do is we have uh, local businesses, um, some travel teams, some just some individuals that sponsor season tickets for um, groups. Um, and I work with Big Brothers Big Sisters, the Barry Rec Center here in Rosemont, and a few other um, community groups to give those season tickets to their underprivileged kids that um, might not be able to make it out to Bandit um, games throughout the season if they didn't have those tickets. So um, we're in our second year right now. Um, just had a great fundraiser for it about a month ago, and um, this year we're up to uh, just about 30 season tickets that we've had purchased for underprivileged kids. So do people have to buy the whole season ticket, or do you allow small donations? Um, we do it in um, three packages actually this year. So you can do the GoFundMe online, which is um, amounts under $75, or you can call that into the office too. Um, we do a silver level package, which is um, about one ticket. And then the gold level is um, two season tickets. And the reason we do it in two is that way the, the child can ha um, come to the game with their mentors. Cool. And do people find that information uh, on the Bandits website? Yes, it's, yeah, it's on ChicagoBandits.com. If you search under Coach's Corner or under the News tab, 
Um, there's links to the stories and, and the different levels of support you can give for the Coach's Corner. Awesome. It's a great, great program. We see tons of kids out there, and obviously it's working, and well, we hope to help promote it and make it even bigger. I appreciate um, that. Coach, we appreciate everything you've done. Thank you again for your title, and congratulations again for your title. Thank you. Thank and you very much. Fun in the off season, so. uh, I appreciate Thanks. that.